We're here with Carl Oliver, who uh, was just recently elected as the General Secretary of the B3As, and congratulations on UN, Thank Carl. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Did you, did you imagine yourself uh, winning the, um, the, the position as General Secretary? Well, I knew, I knew the race was going to be close uh, when I saw Mr. Short and, and Jamaica and uh, uh, Ms. Kerry, you know, very good friends with, with, with all of them, you know, and so I know that, that I, even if I had win, you know, it, it wasn't going to be by no large amount of votes. But nevertheless, I'm grateful that I came out on top. All right. Um, I asked Aram and I asked Mike about the regards to uh, having five Olympian and five elite athletes as part of the board. Uh, what do you think you bring to the, um, to the executives? Well, I mean, not, not just in, in terms of my, my athletic ex abilities or experience and, and com competing for the Bahamas over several years, but I, I bring to the table uh, the experience that I would have acquired from working in the Ministry of Finance as, a, as an economist, you know. And I've traveled, you know, uh, a lot of places with, with, prime mini with prime ministers, with ministers of finance, or, and I uh, even actually spent two years in, in, in the World Bank, so the, the uh, our knowledge that I would have acquired from these institutions, I can also apply it to, to, to the B3As in terms of financing and, uh, and uh, just, you know, giving my views on, 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 on issues that may be uh, of some complexity. Well, you know, one of the, posi one of the most um, taxing positions at the, at, the, at, the, at the executive level is the position of general secretary. Um, are you up to the task? I understand that, and, and interestingly enough, enough uh, uh, Kermit, you know, I actually went on the IWF website looking for some information on Secretary General and their responsibilities. <laughs> I couldn't find none, so hopefully, but I'm going to go back again. And now that I'm in, I'm in now, you know, I can always uh, call upon, uh, I mean, Tim, Tim, you know, just recently resigned, resigned from being uh, uh, General Secretary. I can call on him and ask him some, get some advice from him even people like, like Mr. Bostic, former uh, Secretary General. So I know it's, 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 it's not an easy job, you know, and it requires one to work hard, and I'm, I'm willing to do that, and I'm also willing to seek guidance from, from outside or wherever mm -hmm. to ensure that my role is, you know what I mean, I put the input necessary to ensure that the B3 is achieved its goal. Now, for also for someone who's had a, a, a pretty um, successful career, track career, what do you see with the younger athletes coming up now? Where do you see track and field in the Bahamas right now? Where are we headed? I mean, I, I think track and field is certainly definitely going in, in, in the right direction. We have the young, young folks like uh, Anthony Strawn and uh, uh, I think the young guy in, at, at Florida State. I, I forget uh, Stephen Newbold. Yeah, Stephen Newbold and them. And uh, I think it's it, it going in the, in the right direction, but we just have to encourage them and invest in them, whatever is required to ensure that they stay on, on the right course. Yeah. All right. uh, I know you're saying you got to run, but if uh, you were to look into the camera, and uh, what, would, what would be your message to the athletes, the parents, and the followers of track and field? Well, it's a new team, you know. Uh, the president has been around for, for quite a number of years. You know, he got the experience, and uh, person like myself and, and, and Iram and, and Philippa and Lisa and, well, may have been around. We knew, but, but we were willing to accept advice from, from the outside. And, of course, you know what I mean, during our campaign, we actually sat with some of the parents, you know what I mean, to find out what are their, how they see the B3As going, what the B3As needs to, to continue to be this organization that's well recognized, not just in the Bahamas, but throughout the region. What do we need to do? So we're going to take, you know, take some of the advice and, and move the B3As in there. You know, continue to be a sustainable operation, right. organization. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you once again, sir. All right. Appreciate it.